That's a sight you can't unsee. Was Dodge Ram a sponsor? I assume so. Well, here it is. My favorite month of the year. As always, I look forward to the month of June when I can celebrate all those around me who live their lives as their true selves. And the gals are going wild. I'm of course talking about June Dairy Month. The month where you should appreciate those that actually provide sustenance to our lives. You thought I was going to say Pride Month because that's all we hear about. Nonstop. Forever. And for always. Because it's not just Pride Month. It's all year long. Look at this. Black HIV AIDS Awareness Day. International Transgender Day of Visibility. Trust me, we see you. Day of Silence. Lesbian Visibility Day. Again. We see you. And more. All before we even get to Pride Month. There's anniversaries of riots and shootings to remember. The International Drag Day. Bisexuality Day. National Coming Out Day. And did you know October is also the History Month for LGBTQIA plus Q and add some more symbols and some letters to confuse everyone, especially themselves? But in the fall months, there's still more. There's Spirit Day. Asexuality Awareness Day, so everyone can be aware that you don't want to have sex with others. Can the nuns join in on that one? There are the intersex people to be aware of, as well as remembering the transgenders and World AIDS Day. That brings us to today's question. Why do we need an entire month devoted to pride? Let me know your thoughts and then share this video so more thoughts can be shared. Maybe you agree with me that we have an entire pride month. Because it's in the name, as clearly indicated here. Smack dab in the middle of the name is what it is. Demon. Demon is the middle. D-E-M-O-N. That's not just me saying that. One, because I'm just looking at the letters, and two, because this is what they believe. You've seen the target controversy by now, and... How basically they've lost around $13 billion in market value during the past two weeks. The uproar centers around an LGBTQ controversy and the June Pride Month displays in Target stores nationwide. There are new Pride items bringing controversy from tuck-friendly bathing suits for transgenders to mugs with the slogan, gender fluid, to other more controversial Pride merchandise now out from a European designer that expresses satanic views. Check out this t-shirt. See its slogan there. It reads, Satan respects pronouns. That along with other merchandise showing skulls and horns, all igniting a consumer firestorm. Hmm, consumer firestorm. Well, Satan does like firestorms, but anyway, let's remind everyone that this is America, where you can be a homosexual all you want. But that is you choosing your lifestyle for you, not you indoctrinating others, specifically innocent children. And that's where the line has been drawn. Target and all of the other corporations have been bowing to the pride for years. But this year is something different because now the direct targeting on the kids has gone too far, as it's now the transgender movement and mutilation of children has taken front, literally in some cases of young girls. They are literally slicing off healthy breast tissue on confused girls. The understanding and the thought around how people think about transgender issues have changed dramatically. But what's hard right now for brands is that that issue is one of the most controversial issues that is sort of tearing this country apart. People have hugely uh, polarizing views on that. And what happens is if you're not careful as a brand, you can get caught right in the middle of that fight. And that is what happened to Bud Light. You know the Bud Light saga by now, too, when the brand decided to let a male who likes to believe he's a little girl get a can of piss water beer with his face on it. Hi. Impressive carrying skills, right? I got some Bud Lights for us. So, I kept hearing about this thing called March Madness, and I thought we were all just having a hectic month, but it turns out it has something to do with sports. And I'm not sure exactly which sport, but either way, it's a cause to celebrate. Or a cause to panic now that Bud Light stocks have plummeted down the drain, the same place their beer should go, and is having to go since sales are down 30%. But who cares about corporate America? The real issue is our children and how they are dragged, and yes, I chose that word carefully, they are dragged 
into this. Because the ultimate plan is to make our children's normal the very not normal. It's Orwellian, to a T. They mean it, T, as in transgender. That's the letter of the month on Sesame Street, as Elmo is promoting it. Hi! Elmo and I wanted to share that everyone is always welcome on Sesame Street. This month, and every month, we want to uplift and celebrate our LGBTQIA plus family, friends, and communities. Yeah, that's right, Miss Ariana. <laughs> From our Sesame Street family to yours, happy pride! Elmo loves you. And I love you, Elmo. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> when you make it a, a, a puppet there in his cute little voice, makes it seem like it's okay, doesn't it? But it's not okay. Even she says this is an every-month thing. And now that they have the toddlers, it's so very easy to get the elementary-age children doing their demon, cultish, religious-like prancing or entrancing of our kids. Did you notice how it's the adults who are setting the model? That's public education now. Welcome, they say. Come on in. Come, children. Come to our lair. We won't teach you to read and write, but you'll know all the colors of the rainbow. Americans don't want this. And Americans shouldn't have this metaphorically and in some cases literally shoved down our throats. A recent Rasmussen poll finds by a three to one margin that Americans believe, because it's true, that there are only two genders. 71% of American adults agree with the statement that there are two genders, male and female including 57% who strongly agree. This should be a no-brainer. But here we are in 2023 taking a poll to verify that not all humanity is lost. And regarding cutting off of body parts, they are sane as well. 62% of Americans approve of legislation making it illegal to perform sex change surgery on minors. 59% approve of laws making it illegal to give hormone replacement therapy to minors. It makes you worry about the other 41% who are A-OK with altering our kids' hormones and the 38% who don't mind cutting off genitals and lopping off breasts. But the big statistic was that 74% oppose allowing schools or teachers to counsel kids on sexual identity without parental consent. What would our schools be these days without everything rainbow-themed? I guess there's hope for a revival. Until that happens, keep giving your Fs, faith, family, and friends. Go out and celebrate June Dairy Month. And until next time, stay healthy, America.